think you'd be an iron support. I don't think the game will let you have that difference, Mr. Wolf. I think that you'll be rubber banded on your lowest to bring up, up closer towards whatever your main ELO is, if that makes sense. So, yeah. It won't, the game won't let you have too much of a difference between whatever your, your highest ELO is and whatever your weakest one is when in the splash ranked system on NA. Okay, at least we have got an AP mid laner this time. I mean, Pike's open. Um, the thing, the thing is here, Soraka can silence my key wind up if I do go Pike. Also, Soraka's heals are pretty annoying to have to deal with, and it might mess up my executes. Um, okay, we're going to do a Zerf game. Might switch to magic resistance here. I keep absolute focus even though I did get enough to bit here. I think I can outrange the Soraka and try not to take too much harassment. Draven's going to be quite predictable when he's going to be picking up his blades though. So in terms of Soraka landing cues, I'm sure she's just going to focus down the Draven. What's your thoughts on the brand nerf from 4% to 3% max health passive? It sucks. Definitely sucks for brand. Uh, it's not just that, it's the combination with the magic resistant buffs on the stat runes. You've got Oblivion Orb nerf. Um, absolute focus nerf there as well. So there's a lot of um, an adaptive force course, it gets taken down by one point there as well. So yeah, a lot, there's a lot added up. So Riot said they wanted a 1.5 win rate less. That makes sense. <laughs> so if Brand had like a 52% win rate, then they're aiming for like a 50.5 uh, win rate on Brand support. But uh, I think they'll probably reach that. I, I, it's going to put off people like wanting to pay Brand though. Because he's not... The thing is with Brand is like if you whack everything down, usually something happens. But in lane... There's a lot more to it than just like W poking and setting up the combo. So we'll see. I mean, it's just, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it was justified or not because he doesn't get seen in pro play at all. And in solo queue, from what I've seen, at least anyway, his play rate isn't that high. So in my eyes, it must be like, In lower ELOs, it might be an issue. That's what I'm thinking of. Because I can see, like, he's a champion where when he gets ahead, for sure, it's, like, really hard to beat him. And he can, like, do a lot of damage in the games. But he is incredibly immobile. And landing his stun against, you know, moderately decent players is not exactly, like, an easy thing. And you're always putting yourself... Whereas all the other mages and some of the other enchanters have higher range than... The brand spells as well, so I don't know. I don't know if it was fully justified. I don't know if they needed a nerf his passive yet, if that's what they were aiming for after doing the Oblivion Orb nerf, the Absolute Focus nerf, the Magic Resistant nerfs. Well, buffs, should I say, but you know what I mean. You could go early for Draven to clean up. Yeah, I probably will do something to that extent, yeah. No one knows how to fight a brand. Yeah, I think that's the issue. Um but I, I don't know. I think the magic resistance stat rune buffs is a good change. But I think it's a tad too... I think they should have waited to see what the brand win rate was before changing the passive. So they should have just seen what brand was still like a 9.2 with all the rune changes and oblivion orb changes. And then if that his brand's win rate is still was still too high, then then do the passive change. I'm surprised they did it all in like one package there, because it all does add up. 
I don't think there was any like major rush to do it, in my opinion. But I mean, Brand was a champion that wasn't playing that much, really, anyway. But it is what it is. Uh oh. Midlaner already got cheesed, killed. But why was he that? Wait, I guess he was running away. Yeah, that's the thing. Soraka's gonna be able to land constant cues onto the. onto the Draven. I'm just going to have to try and focus on harassing down the Ezra. I'm going to try and bait Soraka to key me. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, I just basically need Soraka walking like towards the Soraka and then like she'll try and do a star call to try and stop me coming in. So, uh, Ezra's already used the health potion here. Once Draven gets the Vampiric Scepter though, we should be okay down here. Soraka's already Oom. I'm surprised she's Oom. Just wanted to also hit the pass uh, with my passive there on Ezra there for more mana, but it's probably a little bit too much there. Go and start call me. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, this could be interesting. Okay, that's a heal. Need to take E off that cast. I mean, Draven could, like, in theory, flash for that. Soraka's a very low mana. Ah, crap. We're good. Thank you for the heal, Draven. Most AD carries wouldn't even bother. Do you play Blitzcrank support? Not really. Not anymore. Much better hooker champions in the game at the moment. Like Pike and Thrash. Do we want to harass this a little bit? I wouldn't mind the extra tiny bit of gold. Alright, I'm out of him. Just get out of here, dude. It's not even worth it. Nice, tower dive. I don't like Draven being down here still. I don't know why he's still pushing in. This is concerning. If I was at Soraka, I would have just walked through my tr own tri brush there and just tried to gank the own my own lane then. Very, very greedy what the Draven was doing then. Maybe he had just enough of maybe boots with a Vampire Acceptor or something. A bit risky that. Can Zeref do Q, Flash, Q? Which, I mean, the cooldown would be too long for that, to do another Q. You can Q while flashing. You can, do you know what I mean? Is that what you mean? You can flash and, like, make the Q go off, yeah. Hey, Ultra. So we've just got to focus down the Ezra.
keep dodging the Soraka star calls. I haven't got a ward for the bush. Oh, Draven went BF sword? Okay. Where did my Q go? My Q just disappeared mid-cast. <laughs> what just happened? Like the Q... <laughs> what? Add that to the bug list. No. Ah, oh, that miss. It was like I was silenced there, but there was no silence. That was very, very weird. I've never accounted that before. I think the Soraka's leveling um, Q. Interesting. Hey, Tor, how you doing? I have my art soon. to also hit something here. Just lost that now. Hope he comes back. He's got TP. Hopefully it's only a one minute DC. Okay, thank God. I haven't got as many Dark Carver stacks as I would have liked. Draven at least gets his passive off. Can he compete here? No! Yes! He had his heal still. I wonder if he could have saved me, actually. Doesn't matter. Draven gets 440 extra gold on top of those two kills. It's very nice for him. Whew. Yeah, I wonder if the Draven could have used heal there to save me, because it was just an auto attack with no W on me there. Oh, it's five seconds. Ah, okay, no problem. There's on cooldown. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, because I forgot because he used my he used heal here when Zin came to come down and gank us. Okay, we've got Draven rolling. This is a good this is a good start. Rest of this the other two citadines aren't doing so great though. Gonna get those berries. Let me get some berries, 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 berries. I'd like to see Draven playing higher up. He could tank a lot of these Mystic shots here. I'm gonna just ult you as soon as it's off ready. Leaves me in a really awkward amount of cash. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. Jimmy missed out on that Dark Harvest stack at least. Zidane's bombs are actually doing a reasonable amount. They're actually doing the Drake. Where is. Oh, they, and they're not. That's not a fail gank, is it? That's a really bad gank up there. Nice. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> I mean, Draven already got his stacks off on this Soraka. I just wanted a Dark Harvest stack, but uh, hey, support attacks and all that. It's a shame they got the Ocean Drake though. It's quite nice to have that early. Especially for Soraka as well for the health regen. Hey, Specimen, how you doing? Another Dark Harvest stack. Oh, no, it has internet issues. Prettiest Draven ulti. Sark is gonna have her ulti up now. Run away. I'm running Oom here. I can get a lost chaps soon. that Dark Harvest stack. It's not going to happen, is it? Hey, Biz, I'm new to your stream, but I've been watching and enjoying YouTube content for a while. Keep up the good content. Oh, thank you, Astro Boop. That's very nice of you. You have a question? So if Nika's passive is it into below 20% HP, does it proc Soraka's passive? Wait. Uh, if you're in... Hmm. Are you saying... Are you asking if the Nico's clone would trigger the Soraka passive. I don't know the answer to that. I'm assuming no. Because when you get Dark Harvest, basically the enemy can see, for example, Dark Harvest on the Nico, but it doesn't appear on the Nico clone. So I'm assuming it would have the same sort of like mechanic interactions with other spells like that. If that makes sense. Okay, so Soraka apparently used to ulti. Kha'Zix is doing alright. Nas having problems, not only with top lane, but with his internet. Zillion ult should hopefully be nice. Don't know if I hit him there. That a second, uh, the last time there. Not sure. Nice drive by. <laughs> Fish is laning quickly. I can't really. I need a recall soon. Bad's coming down here as well. Refresh wards, and I might just need to recall again straight away here. I did hit Soraka though. Maybe this Draven should buy a Grievous Swoons and Executioners. I need to buy a Marinette as well at some point in this game. Six wants to come down. Nice, we actually killed the Soraka there. I can't go in any longer than that. Good job, Draven. Really good job, Draven. And at least he managed to uh, get his passive off there as well. Is that first tower for us, or is that top tower already down? Yeah, that top tower's already down. Uh, 
I mean, I've got no HP. I'm in alt range now. I mean, that bad's very low HP. That's Soraka ulti though. Mm. Okay. Not entirely relevant, but I'm a new bar player. Any tips you could give? Take your tunnel off smart cast. That is like brutal. That new cast man on Oblivion. Why did you do that, Riot? That sucks. <clears throat> yeah, I need a Riot Anomicon quite uh, urgently now for the Soraka. As we'll be probably picking up Blade of Throne King, and then you've got the healing as well. Uh, Raven will probably buy a Death Dance. Vladimir's has got self healing there as well, and so is Zin, so we really do need this Miranda Nomicon. Yeah, Draven's been pretty good. He's been decently reliable. Just seems like the top lane. I'm worried about top, basically. We did get the Infernal Trick, which is super nice. My, my Q's gone again. Like it just disappeared randomly. Okay, guys, don't play, don't play Zaref. <laughs> don't play Zaref. This patch is bugged. Vlad could die of me. Rip cannon. All I can do is just wave clear here. I'm not actually looking for a kill. I'm dead. Appreciate the ulti zillion. Okay, we'll get the kill. I'd say the top lane is third DC, isn't it? Draven, lie still, lie still, lie still. Good boy. Mm. Got a little bit caught up there. I could buy my Ludens, but I really need Morello. This uh, gold cost on the Oblivion Orb sucks now. My Q is a ghost. It doesn't like. I know it makes my Q go invisible, and then not only that, it just um, doesn't work. Like. You get a kill. Well played uh, from the Zillion there. Uh, you missed a question as you were in the heat of battle. Why focus Ezreal over Soraka? Well, now I can focus the Soraka a little bit more. Basically, I my harassment wasn't that isn't that strong at the very start of the laning phase. It's okay, but it's nothing crazy. Um, so if I were to focus down the Soraka, the Soraka would just regen from landing easy cues on the Draven because it's very predictable when he's going to be picking up his blades. So if I instead hit the the Ezreal, then it forces more mana out of the Soraka to use it on heals. And I think that's why she went oom a like a little bit during that first stage of the laning phase. But yeah, just forcing the Soraka to have to use more mana because she's going to do star calls anyway. But she would ideally not have to do too many Ws. Especially at the start of that any phase. Ouch. Mm. 
The Merlin Nomicon conversion cost is this well, they've changed they made it to the overall price of Merlin Nomicon's the same. Just the oblivion old price is down and also it's lost five AP. That's nice. It's a shame about Nar though. my ulti for a little bit of harassment here. And that stock is pretty low. Gold from Rhinonomicon. Ow. Sarka has ulti. We need to respect that. Why do I already play Thresh, Alistair, and Leona? I don't play Alistair because I think he's bad at the moment. I play Thresh and Leona sometimes. Got enough of Moran and I'm kind of think it's worth the recall. Oh god. Got a Knight there on the ribbon. Badim is stunned. It's not enough, is it? Sidney hasn't already had to use his ulti. Overextended there. That's gonna be barren, maybe. Ah, oh, lost 1v1 as well. It's a shame we didn't kill the Vadimir though. Okay, at least we don't use Baron. What's the Mubble Sling? Yeah, it's just an extension. We sometimes play it in between games. Draven's got an execution, isn't it? I've got Marin and Omicron. I think that's all the Grievous wins we're going to be buying this game. Okay. I thought did land a stun there at least. Okay, they're down two. I didn't need to put my control up there. What am I doing? There's already one in the pit. <laughs> Wondering if the Zin's gonna flash over that wall. We're okay? We're okay. Alright, well that was a nice uh, sequence of events there, that was really needed. Okay. Our placement's going, plat 170 LP at the moment. After two games, one win, one loss. Looks like Draven maybe tried to catch out the striker there and got punished quite badly for it. Oh dear. Thank god I managed to catch him there. Both AD carries uh, messing up a bit then. Ludens and 300 gold. Okay. I've got no flash to get out of this.
I might whip out my ulti in a second. Hit a Vladimir there. Need, I want to try and ult the Soraka if I can. Soraka's used their ulti. My key's bugged again. I can't even cancel it. Nice. Three times it's bugged that Q, and that Q was pretty important as well. What the hell? Oh, fuck. Did not DC during that or something? Zin's mad. Happens when you, uh, wait, what? When you go out the screen, are you ready? I'm dead. I've got flash. That Zillion Bomb. <laughs> I got my ulti in five seconds. The Starker just ulti again there. I'm whiffing a couple of keys there. Oh, I was panicking like crazy. <sighs> yeah, the Zillion covered my ass a couple of times during that fight. Could use this mountain drake here. We need to fight. We definitely need to fight. I'm not sure what Nas one seven. Getting to be quite a close game. But is there a passive? When you let use an auto hit, you get mana back. I think is it double one champions? Yeah, double one champions. It's quite an important ward to clear out there actually. She got Shirley is, yeah, she's got Shirley is. We need some mega siege here. Look at that. Riven's trying to get him behind us. This inhib still needs to go down there. What's not the bot side? Zillion hasn't got his ulti. What is Nar even doing? All right, okay, Baron's respawning. They've got a jungler we haven't, and I don't know about the, um, the nah. They could do it. They could actually do it. This is not a good call for to do the blue buff, my dude. It's their Baron. Is it in a ribbon or enough for that? Well, it's taking them a little while to do, though. They've got to fight for it though. That was a good Ezreal. Zidian has ulti. Don't help them do it. Whoa, what? Yeah, 
that stairs. I think it's a living target. Really would like level 16. Not really, yeah. I mean, it's a shame that has got these connection issues. But even regardless, when he has been in the game, it's kind of been... I don't really know what he's been doing. I could buy another rod now. I just want to kill the minions to, like, delay them be able to push in. Just delay their Baron. Get the Zidian to give me his passive. He's actually got enough on his bottle to give me level 16. Just got to get to him. You really want the Sidian's passive. Has he not got enough? Yeah, there we go. It's a shame, I'm not even going to bet at all, see? I can't get away. Draven was like in front of me there as well. That was a really good uh, ribbon engage. I've got super creeps going down bot side. We could actually get a kill here. <gasps> Okay. Uh, Zillion's ulti is about to come up. It's gonna be an ace. What dragon's this? Ocean Drake. I don't think he can kite this out. Zin's low. He's trying his best. Bless him. <laughs> Ezreal's around in this area. I think he may have stunned the Ezreal, uh, the Zin there. That's a long death timer though on the Zidian. How long has the Baron got? Baron's about to wear off. And then it spawns again 2 minutes 13. What? I actually really need that kind of minion. I'm getting close to death count. A little bit of face checking here. So I'm Brank getting nerf? Yeah, they got minor. Well. Minor direct nerfs. Oh. <gasps> I can't really. I'm already dead, aren't I? I shouldn't have kept sieging from that angle. That was really dumb. We've lost everyone. That's the game, I guess. That's the game. Is it in wave clear a little bit here with bombs? I was about to hit Mega now. Zidian's doing a decent-ish job. Let's try and kill out the minions though. Okay. Shame I only hit 
one though. Nice job, Kazix. Can you get another one then? Okay. Need a deep push top side a little bit here. What are God tier supports right now? Uh, you could go like Pike or Soraka. Those are pretty good right now. Baron spawning, but I've got I can get control wards, so I just need the Pike to death count. Alright, let's go. Um, Vladimir and Ezra still dead, Draven spawning. If the enemy come into this, we should be able to... Oh, okay. What the hell? Die Draven. Okay. We've got to push it in and end. We have to. Was that a TP from the Riven? Gotta be very careful. The only thing that we will lose to is like the Vladimir getting in and airing us all down. It's gonna be the main thing. Soon. As soon as my ult set, Riven's up too. Okay, we're playing it safe. Ezra killed me so quick there. It's a shame I didn't get a Zillion ulti there. Oh no. Can they kill the Riven quickly here? Uh, Sorok is way too far ahead. Go on, Draven. Okay. It's Vladimir and Ezra. They're still the two highest DPSs though. Elder Drake is up. Play it safe. How our placement is going. One win, one loss at the moment. At 170 LP. It's a shame I didn't get the Zillion LT. That was a shame. This is a three stack Elder Dragon. Ezra Flash. Good job, Kazix. It's a shame we couldn't kill the Vladimir there. That would have been the game if we could kill Vlad there. How much AP am I on right now? Uh, 702. Oh, this is the kind of engage Vlad needs. Struck at the very end there. They're still fighting the enemy. This is not good for us, is it? Our in hips respond. I'm not sure why we just didn't go bot side though. Are we recording? Such a close game. Um, wait, that's a lie. I can't upgrade that. Just have to wait now. Kind of want void stuff. A couple of them have got magic resistance now. Sorok has got a uh, war mox build. Just 
this is a 42 minute game, so she can. Elder Drake's been a little bit wasted. Yeah, we haven't actually taken an objective since we've taken it. Yeah. We've got slow pushing going on. This is a really tense game. Everyone's like really focused. Nice. Striker's already dead. This is huge. Okay, I think Zidane can chase down the Riven here. I think we can just push it down there. They don't need to be doing this, do I? That's an ace. Yeah, yeah. we've already won. Okay, good job. Whew. Lucky I was able to kill that striker really quickly there. Diminished all our healing. That's with her with her uh, warmogs as well. <laughs> Stin's complaining about me. <laughs> Yikes. What a game. I mean, I thought we were going to lose that. To be honest, it was not looking good at the start, was it? Because Dre, the Nah, especially having those connection issues as well, he DC'd like what three or four times, and then he went one seven. Draven did well in the Lenny phase; he went a bit sloppy, a bit later on there though. But I'm gonna honor the Zidin, actually. Promoted to Diamond Four, Diamond Four Thirty LP. Cool. Not so bad, is it? Not so bad at all.